actually doesn't have any ag in it at all. The guy up by the river has a small food plot behind the house. The one that has corn, so if they're coming back to visit here, then I think that's going to take a little while. Sam and Billy got some offers. They're going to hold her down. Oh my god. I'm probably getting tired of seeing my face in interviews and no deer, but I'm actually back in where I missed that big eight pointer. He's been around the last couple mornings. I gotta think he's probably running area a little bit yet. There's also a fawn, really, really small fawn coming out with a doe. So we all think she was a late breeder. Maybe she missed again this year. the first camera I've actually ever lost, but you can see a stick and pick still hanging way up there. Oh, I don't even know who that would have been. You wouldn't need a stick to get up to that thing. So, fifth camera found. Everything's still intact. I think it might have still been on. Um, doesn't look like the deer were running across him. Expected though. We'll see when I check the card. 
on my way out, I fell. Now I need to get back home, get some shit done around the house. Sticks two haters high. That's a muscle under shot. Second one coming from over there today. Today's the first day of the early muscle loader season. I pulled a card and there's a shooter that walked that trail this morning. I guess he's bedded down in here right now, but I gotta go. Cameras and get my ass home before I get in trouble. Uh, trying to make things happen out here. About two inches of rain Sunday, so I was just converting the back of my Subaru. I had the back done. Now behind my passenger seat is extended so I can sleep back there in case it rains. There's a big problem with tent camping is I don't have any time to dry stuff out, so there's my solution. I got arrows to build, I got a house to clean, and I'm still not home. I was off work over two hours and 15 minutes ago, so let me focus on my drive and stay tuned. Striking out the year before, it was a huge accomplishment to catch up to this deer and put an arrow in him for following year. Alright, I'm making my approach in this evening. Got a strong west wind. I'm gonna cut this side hill, cross this valley, pop up on this ridge. Bottom side of the ag field. It's like a old field CRP. Hopefully, catch deer wrapping around it. It's a long time on this ridge. Private.
So we're almost back to this first game of the morning. And I've never had a mature box hiding back here. But this sucker's got a lot of them on game. I think someone saw me coming back out of that corner, which I never liked to happen. They pulled out, so I was just a couple ridges off. Guessing they didn't have anything they wanted to share with me. I'm just gonna check this memory card. I think that Apple SD card reader doesn't really like 32 gigabyte cards. It gives me some problems with those, so, so I always bring my laptop. Then we got more cams. Oh, I realize this here I probably should be accessing this portion. Just publicly into this creek bottom. Never, right? So there's a little scrape right there. And the camera's tucked way up in the bank on the root. I've been here and since it's gonna be gun season, I'm gonna shift it. Get up on the tree and leave it in this area. I'm gonna find a fucking mega rub. I ain't found one yet this year. <laughs> What's up? It's a uh, second season shotgun here in Ohio. Saturday uh, mid-afternoon I'm spending the block checking some cameras. A couple dead batteries now after uh, two really high days of winds here in eastern Iowa. So one I pulled um, and then the other one I juiced back up. A couple more cameras to go. Alright, so we filled up the car, filled up the tires. I need to make an exchange at Lululemon, and then uh, we're headed out to hunt, folks. Oh, I need to pick up a little Mr. Mr. Buddy heater for my camping car setup. She's back. Hoping to be down there a little after lunch. Let's get it. So, so far, I've checked <laughs> three cameras and I've pulled three cameras. Encouraging signs. Well, quite a few hunters, so I just pulled them down. We'll use them elsewhere. I should wish I had a problem with these. Okay, so last Tuesday of the season here in Iowa, we're set up near where I shot my buck. Sun just rose. We got a hen above me making a ton of noise. I really want to shoot a long beard though. south wind to work with so it's kind of hoping they do the reverse or I catch them crossing that bottom somewhere and can get a beat on them for tomorrow tomorrow the winds are switching to west northwest so it'll be you know a whole nother game but uh we're about to get suited up and get on in here before anybody else
you want to see coming in the truck of cam. These weren't here last time I was in here. Um, I'm guessing he's got a stand in here now. So, I'm guessing he didn't see my camera. But, hopefully, he didn't bump the two bucks I had in here. I was gonna chase. So I was gonna sit one tonight. Active bedding area I just walked into. One, two, three down below. Just off some pines. I'm about to scout these. The sign is insane in here. Got food right up the front. Just bumped a fat doe out from down in here, so I slip down in here and set up, and maybe I can dump her when she comes back. decision on my part. Um, west wind. None of the deer are going to come bed on these east ridges. Um, so they're going to be likely bedded on these west ridges here on the public. I didn't see any working in up on these and bedded down this morning. But I did find a ton of beds up on the bridge adjacent to the food source yesterday and I'm thinking if no one hunted them this morning or last night they're probably bedded right on that food source so uh, also with these high winds we might be playing the spot in the stock and it's getting late in the game just uh was walking up to my camera picked up a Old navy fleece. It's not too often you find a piece of gear in the woods. It had snow on it and everything hanging on a tree. Must got snag and ripped off someone's setup. Extra large. Not very often you find that's your size too. See what you want. Blah blah blah. Should have left it, but I think. <laughs> All the things I've lost in the woods over the years, no one's left them, so. Sorry about you, buddy. It's negative eight today, maybe it'll help me. In here yesterday midday. I was coming in trying to hunt him, but he's just up on the private or whatever deer that was. I'm coming down here into the bottom. He's crossing over and coming up through the public for some reason. There's food up on the other side. Fuck, I think I just bumped him. And I can't get to him. Okay. Down in this box. I saw them deer come out last night, just down from my camera, um, where I had them two bucks cross through yesterday morning. They're 20 mile per hour winds today, and uh, they're switching west, northwest. Yesterday, about five minutes. Thank you. 
few hundred yards away from where I sat this morning. Just parked, worked my way in. Big draw between two ridges. I'm on the west facing ridge. West wind, so I don't anticipate a lot of deer to be bedding up here, but right away, there's a locust grove right along the road and it is torn up with deer sign. Torn, torn up, the best sign I've found. So I'll try and keep that in mind for the morning, maybe. Crossing down and over the creek now. I'm gonna go scout the east ridges, but just one good rub so far right up behind me. Beautiful evening. You get down here out of the wind. I work my way back to the car. Okay, I really like snow because this is my boot print walking out yesterday from setting the camera. And that's a buck track right inside that thing. Hopefully, it's on the camera. Still a buck going nuts in here, opening scrapes back up. Two, three. Cold weather, get them acting up. Uh, officially, unofficially. Or do you say it unofficially, officially? My last walk out on public land for the 2021 season. Uh, I think I got an opportunity to hunt Saturday night, but I'm headed home. See you guys in Harrisburg. So I just got cleared from work. We're getting some freezing rain. I'm gonna go get my cameras out of the woods before a bunch of people start to really hit the ground for shed season. It's 2:22, 22. We are wasted no time. Here. Can't believe this camera's still here. It's literally still improved. All this ground around here. Card still in it to scout for right there. Look at the detail up high there. Uh, we ideally we'd like it up there. Right, so I just walked into my first bedding area. First ridge and I got a camera down here along the creek. Find some bone today, guys. Oh, yeah, check him out. Not a good bet off fighting. I'm gonna spend a little time in this area because I've literally never ever matched up a shed. But this one you can see it's a little broken on the end, so I'm not sure that he shed this. He was probably in here fighting, it seems like. Nice up and coming deer. I'm stoked for this one.
Ooh, the adrenaline. I've, I've been up walked almost 10 miles today. And I finally just walked up on my first and it's a bomber. It's a bomber! Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. Makes it all worth it.